Well, the tributes continued today during a memorial for rapper Young Dolph. Thousands showed up at FedEx Forum on Beale Street to pay their respects. Born Adolph Thornton Jr., Young Dolph was known for his humanitarian efforts in Castelia Heights and across Memphis. Well, today, the community he loved is giving the love right back in downtown. That's where we find ABC 24 reporter Brad Broders. Brad, what did things look like down there today? Dozens of speakers from pastors to politicians, from musicians to really just a wide spectrum, all laying out Young Dolph's compassion, creativity, and his connection to this community. From the soulful singing in his honor to those dancing to the beat of his own hits, Memphis paid tribute Thursday to rapper Young Dolph. He's being remembered as a loving partner. He was the most brilliant man, intelligent man, unique man, charming man. He was just everything. A talented brother. The legacy he, that he has built, it just make us smile. A Hamilton High School student who stood out with big dreams. He moved differently. He grooved differently because he was built differently. For making his mark in Memphis in music and giving back to his Castalia Heights neighborhood. Dolph was super smart, driven, passionate, focused, authentic. Loyal to the younger up and coming rappers he mentored. He said, at the end of the day, whatever you want, just go and get it and believe in yourself and don't let nobody stop you. And as a reason and rallying cry for peace. Let us build Memphis up and not tear it down. Let's love each other. Let's respect each other. Now, at the conclusion of this afternoon celebration of life service, Tennessee State Senator Kate Katrina Robinson presented a resolution from the state of Tennessee honoring Young Dolph and his years of philanthropy here in Memphis. That includes a 50,000 donation to his alma mater, Hamilton High School, free book ba backpacks for each year for back to school events, as well as free turkeys each Thanksgiving donated. Also, we learned that November 17th will now be known in Tennessee as a Young Dolph Day of Service. Rudy. Brad, seems like there was a cross range of people there today in a very inspiring uh, memorial service. Um, any idea of how many number of people were actually there? We know that it was a sold out event. Yeah, there was uh, the lower level of FedEx Forum uh, was available for seats. It wasn't entirely full. That might have been because of social distancing from the organizers. But I would say at least three, four thousand fans were there uh, today, Rudy. Remembering the life of young Dolph. All right, thanks a lot, Brad Broders.